Hey, what is going on guys? How are you guys doing today? My name is the bro man and today I'm gonna to be starting a new series really quick before I start Introducing what it's gonna be and stuff guys. I'm sorry. This isn't a world to road cup video I've just been really busy the past few days and haven't had time to like record it and edit it and everything So I decided I'd just do this kind of little video really quick right now and start off this series Because I do want to do a series like this and it's just gonna be me predicting what a player's card will be His ultimate team card will be in the next FIFA based on his stats this season So this first episode I'm doing my personal favorite player one of my two favorite players, obviously, if you guys don't know my other one, it's uh, Mario Goza. So this is Marco Royce, and let's look at his stats last season and see what his card is. So last season, he played 32 games, had 9 assists and 13 goals. And if you look at his card, he was an 85 overall left mid, 91 pace, 86 dribbling, 86 shooting, 47 defending, 80 passing, and 60 heading. Now this season, he had a definitely better season, and uh, he did change positions kind of as well. Last season, he was more of an outside player. This season, Dortmund played him more as a like central striker or kind of a left forward kind of thing. But uh, I decided I would make his card this. And if you guys can see, I did change his position from left mid to striker. And, you know, I'm not guaranteeing this is going to be the card, guys. Obviously, like, this is a possibility. And uh, if you guys didn't know, actually... FIFA and EA, they make their ultimate team cards based on how that player did in the most previous season. So that is why I boosted Marco Royce's stats. Because if you see it in his most latest season, like the last one that just finished, he played 30 games, he had 13 assists and 16 goals. And if you could see by that color coding I did there, he played less games and scored more goals and got more assists, which means he had a definitely better season. He was playing more of an attacking role though, of course, so it was kind of like he was more involved and had more opportunities to score. But he won the Bundesliga Player of the Year and he had the most points out of any player in the whole Bundesliga. So that is an awesome season for him and I decided to boost his card here. If you guys see, I boosted his pace by one, I uh, boosted his shooting by one because he did score more goals. I boosted his passing by two because he got definitely, you know, a solid amount of assists compared to last season. And then I left his dribbling the same, lowered his defense, and lowered his heading. Just because if he's going to be a striker, his defense doesn't need to be, like, high at all. So I just lowered it a little bit. And his heading isn't good at all, so I don't even think he deserves 60 heading. So I just lowered it below 60. So, yeah, guys, that is my card. Let me know any players you want to see me do. Send me your favorite player or something. And uh, I'll do a player prediction of their FIFA 15 Ultimate Team card. And obviously, guys, Marco Royce's card won't be green like that. I just wanted to do that to distinguish the difference between the original and the one I remade. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like rating, comment some players you want to see me predict for next FIFA. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, everybody. And peace out.